All right. First off, congrats on your team's 16 and one record in the regular season uh, and the number one seed in the Metro West. Um, with such a historic season like this, especially after you guys just won last year as well, um, was there a specific game or specific moment that stands out to you from this from the regular season before we get to the playoffs um, that makes the season as memorable as it was? No, because this is my first year on the team. Um, so I didn't play with them last year. I played with them last year uh, in the Cape. That's how I um, kind of met this group of guys. Uh, that's how I got on there. Um, but uh, so as far as like, you know, memorable games and any, anything that like stands out, I mean, they just, they, they're a team of ball players. They show up to play and that's how it is week in and week out. And they're, they're there to win. They're there to have a good time. And that was, uh, you know, when I saw that, that was kind of why I was like, yeah, I mean, I'll, I, I can get into that. Most recently, you were named Metro West MVP. Can you tell us any secrets behind what led to that kind of success and how you evaluate your performance? One thing that helped was, uh, I mean, I did more hitting in the preseason uh, this year than I did last year. Um, but also, I was playing a lot of baseball. I was playing for three teams. So I got the reps where last year I only played for one team. Um, and I didn't feel like I got enough reps. So it was just that consistency of always, you know, um, you know, swinging every, you know, a couple of times a week, you know, um, seeing live pitching a couple of times a week. That, that definitely helped. Um, did you have a personal favorite moment or a bat that you had, whether it was with the Orioles or with the other teams that you played? Or, or any games that you played this year, did you have a memorable moment that kind of stands out um, from this long, from this very interesting and obviously historic season uh, for the Orioles as well? Um, I mean, I always enjoy the home runs. It's, you know, the least amount of running. So that I, I do prefer that, but you know, those, I, don't, I mean, I don't hit a ton of them, so it's, uh, you know, kind of is what it is. But, um, you know, it's kind of tough to say, I mean, because, I mean, you take a look at our record, we, you know, we're winning every week for the most part, you know. Um, so it wasn't like, uh, you know, I knew that even, you know, the, I started to get the feeling after a while, like, you know, we we're just going to, we we're just going to win. You know, we we're just going to win. You show up, we're going to win too. You know, and that's that's everybody's mindset on that t uh, on that team. So, um, you know, we, we just try to show up and win too. And um, so there weren't really any, you know, um, like really close moments where uh, I mean, I'd have to really think on it. But I mean, there there were a couple of uh, close games that you know we pulled out um, and pulled off a win, but. Uh, you know, for the most part, no, I can't, you know, think of anything in particular. Okay, no worries. I just figured I'd ask because, uh, again, you know, it's a long season and stuff like that. Um, but I think one thing that also, um, I mean, I'm sure this is not something you guys use as an excuse, but you guys have had, just as a league, not maybe not specifically your team, but a lot of rainouts. Uh, the rain has been a huge factor this season. And kind of the last three years that I've been covering this league as well. Um, so how were you guys able to, you know, deal with that and then be able to just, you know, not have to worry about it? Because obviously you've, you guys had a lot of success with the Orioles and it seems like the rain didn't phase you guys. Yeah. Um, well, I think a lot of the guys were, were playing in other places as well, you know, um, so you get your reps in. I mean, if it's, you know, raining on a mon uh, Sunday or, or Monday or whatever, I mean, you, you might still be able to play Thursday. Um, it was like that. I mean, we did get a lot of rain outs, but if you've been playing for a while, then you know that, you know, if you just get rained out, then, you know, come July, August or, what or whatever, you're going to have, you know, three, four or five games a week, 
you know. I mean, it was just a, a roommate in college. It was, um, you know, I played shortstop. He played second base. Um, you know, he was, uh, you know, a guy from San Diego. Um, and uh, I'll give him a shout out, Ryan Oshima. <laughs> he doesn't play anymore, but uh, yeah, he was a good, good ball player back in the day. Um, yeah, but he he always uh, he he always just ate pasta on game days. Like he literally wouldn't eat anything else. He'd have uh, you know a ton of it made the, the night before and um, breakfast, lunch, dinner. Sounds like my kind of guy. I love pasta. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> um, so that's a cool story. I'm definitely putting that in there. That's actually a really cool story. So. Um, and we'll probably make a few people laugh. <laughs> um, but, um, all right, well, enough, enough about the uh, pregame ritual. And now to the, to the more recent stuff. Obviously, you guys are now right in the middle of the postseason. Um, you guys lost two out of your first three games. But more recently, you won your last two postseason games outscoring the Metro West Royals 13-3 to and last, Saturday, last Sunday's, I'm sorry, double header um so if you want to just talk a little bit about you know your postseason journey for the metro uh for the orioles excuse me um and kind of you know give your impressions about what's gone on so far and you know expectations moving forward um well i mean i expect to win i mean i always show up expecting to win you know um but uh, I know they're they're a good ball club. I believe they're um, the Cy Young winner was uh, on their team, right? Yeah. So, um, and I don't remember. I don't think if I don't think I showed up the the weekend we played these guys. So I don't have any recollection of them. Um, but you know, if they're here, they're you know they're a good ball club, and you know I'm hoping. Uh, you know, hoping it's a it's a good series, but I expect to win. That's <laughs> fair enough. I wouldn't expect anything yeah. else. Um, yeah, you don't go in yeah. expecting to lose, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it's it's kind of the you know the the same thing. I expect all the guys in my dugout are thinking the same thing, and I expect all the guys in their dugout are thinking the same thing. You know, so that's you know that's how it is. Well, I guess to get more specific, is there a specific thing in terms of, I mean, obviously, so far you've guys scored a lot, you've scored a lot of runs, which has been kind of a theme throughout the season as well. But what's the biggest key to making sure you guys can not only win the series, but obviously when get your ultimate goal of securing the Metro West title, what's going to be the biggest key as a team to making sure that happens? Um. I mean, time, everything, I mean, but, you know, timely hitting, uh, you know, solid defense, um, you know, the the pitching's got to do the job, pitching's got to throw strikes, um, but I expect that out of, you know, everybody on this team, you know, that's, that's how they play. And I'm assuming your approach at the plate is going to be just get on base and Get, you know, get the ball rolling for your team and do whatever you, whatever it takes to make sure that you guys win, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Um, exactly. Yeah. I mean, just getting on base. I mean, sometimes it's not, it's not pretty, but, you know, I mean, getting on base and scoring, really, you know. Um, but, I mean, we got a solid lineup, you know. Um, so it's it's one of those lineups that you can't really pitch around guys, you know, because you got to pitch to somebody else afterwards with somebody on base. Um, so you know that that's good. That that it usually means we'll you know we get a lot of good pitches to swing at, um, and you know we got a lot of guys that can hit. So it's uh, usually a good combination and. Even if, uh, you know, even if they don't throw strikes, I mean, we got a lot of guys that can run. 